Hey guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video based on cloud computing. So in today's video, we'll be seeing what is cloud services brokerage that is CSB in uh, cloud computing. So let's get started. So the CSBs are nothing but it's an organization that plays a role as a facilitator or a mediator. It's an intermediator for delivering your cloud services. So it's like it provides some kind of services for your public, private as well as hybrid clouds and then it acts as a mediator for uh, putting some kind of activities or like doing billing or some kind of auditing kind of certain activities. So that two facilities or that two services or that is a role which is played by a CSB in your cloud service. Next uh, it can be either a telecom or a data center with large number of customers now this can be you can relate it with your uh, mobile carriers like you have AT&T as well as the Vodafone which has uh, billions of uh, consumers or customers uh, with them so you can just assume uh, that kind of telecom provider or data center which so many large customers can be your CSB that is it's kind of a brokerage which provides you certain services with some rental fee or uh, kind of that Next in cloud provider consumer relationship if you have like uh, you have some provider see it's like uh, I provide my video services to you so uh, I'm provider and you are uh, consumer so it's like in a provider consumer relationship it acts between one to one communication and so in this CSBs are an optional entity mediating between the two so uh, while well in this kind of thing there is no CSB uh, in sitting between uh, you and me so it's like one-to-one -one communication is there so in that place uh, mediator that role uh, which is produced by CSB is of no use then it helps providers by relieving them of acquiring customers billing and enabling integrated access to multiple cloud services so all these things that is acquiring customers billing and enabling integrated services all which were done earlier by the providers are just removed or which are done by the cloud service brokerage solely so that kind of hassle or that kind of difficulty which was there earlier it's being eliminated with the help of CSPs then it helps consumers get integrated access to one or more that is value added services VAS such as cloud backups you have then SaaS model that is software as a service and then you have IDM that is the identity management which is used for like kind of security purposes uh, which comes in federal key management that is uh, FKM and so uh, these are the roles or how the CSB facilitates in the cloud service. Next you have the uh, three diagrams uh, which goes like first you have the direct SaaS model. So uh, in this you have some number of consumers that is consumer 1, 2, 3 and then you have the internal captive data center which is there and which provides some kind of solution that is solution provider A and then you have the hosted data center which is there outside that kind of organization which provides some solution provide B and so uh, consumer one accesses solution provider A and this is like direct you can access this so consumer uh, one can access solution provider A, consumer two can access solution provider A, consumer two can access solution provider B and consumer three can access solution provider B. So there is no particular kind of bridge or kind of mediator sitting in between these two kind of things. So it's like a direct SaaS model, direct communication takes place. Next to this CSB is an intermediary role. So in this, what is there? Uh, just a CSB portal is there kept in between uh, these two parties so it's like all the communications which is done is being routed through CSB portal so it's like a proxy which acts as a mediator for communicating these services which was done earlier uh, with the help of direct communication now CSB services for uh, public SaaS cloud uh, the same model is there just uh, this part is replaced by an aggregation portal and then you have the partner portal and partner portal too. So this is just uh, done in order to load balance the activity or load balance the task which is given by each of these consumers. That is uh, if n number of consumers increases day by day then you may have to uh, scale your activity kind of thing. So for that you need to have an aggregation portal which then splits into partner portal 1 and partner portal 2 for just load balancing your activity and then all the things uh, just gets done as it is there in the uh, about to model so that was all about the cloud services brokerage in cloud computing so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you got educated by watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video